In this video, I'll show you some of my favorite ways to make titles pop inside of LumaFusion. So first, one of the things I often do is add a black fade underneath my titles. This puts the text on a black background, but since it's a PNG, it also blends into the video. I've included a link for the specific image in the description. As you can see, it's really increasing the contrast between the text and the video. Currently, it's probably a bit too strong, so I can double tap on it, lower the Y axis so I can lower the fade and reduce the intensity. You can also rotate this image so the fade starts at the top and then move your titles above too, achieving the same result. Next, highlighting keywords. Add a title, double tap on it. Then, whilst you're in the title section, tap on the plus icon and add a rectangle. Change the color of the rectangle to anything other than the color of the text. For example, let's go with the red. Move the layer above the text and finally, adjust the shape of it so you put the rectangle behind a keyword. And if there's multiple keywords you want to highlight, you can duplicate the layer. Again, place it above the title layer. Then, I like to hold these middle points of the rectangle to extend it and adjust it for highlighting another keyword. Use only these middle points whilst you're doing this, just to ensure the shape's positioning is consistent as you're only changing the x-axis and not the y-axis. Moving on to a crop reveal effect. This one is super simple, but it looks great. So add a title, then from the transitions tab, find the soft wipe right. Drag it onto the title and then make the transition about two seconds long. It looks pretty decent straight off the bat. This is how it looks. But for this effect, I like to add a glow. So double tap on it, tap color and effects, select this icon, and then scroll about halfway down and you'll find Bloom. By adding Bloom, you give your title a glow, which looks cool for this reveal effect. I find that 30 radius and about 0.7 intensity gives the best result. So this is how it looks with both the transition and the glow effect. And the final tip for this video is to animate your titles. After you add any text that's relevant to your video, go to frame and fit. And I would always recommend adding your second keyframe first. So where you want the animation to finish. This way you can see where you want the title to end up. And then adding the first keyframe is easy because you just move it out of frame in the Y axis or the X axis. For this, let's do a simple move in motion from the left. So I can slightly adjust the size to my liking for the second keyframe. This is where I want it to end up. And then in the first frame, I just change the value of the X axis so it's out of frame and that's it. It will automatically animate in. And just to make it smoother, I can ensure I'm on this tab by tapping this icon and then go anywhere between the two keyframes, tap ease presets and select slow in and out. You can move it in from left, right, top, bottom, for example, I can delete the first keyframe, then simply just adjust the Y axis. So instead of coming in from the left, it comes in from the top. These are very simple motions, but you can also play around with rotations and the path tool. Again, select the final position where you want it to end up. Then on the very first frame, you can rotate it so the title rotates in. Uh, and you can also play around with the path tool. So what I like to do sometimes is curve it by selecting these two handles, adjusting it so it's like a U shape, like a curve. Then when it comes in, it goes up and down. And I think this looks really cool. And to me, it looks more natural as well. When you no longer want the title to appear on screen, the simplest and most effective way to get rid of the title, because you know, you don't want to have a title on the screen for too long. What you want to do is select it and then go near the end of the title, tap on the plus icon, select transition, and this will automatically apply a cross dissolve. So your title will fade away. So yeah, those are just some of the methods I use to make my titles pop inside of LumaFusion. Uh, let me know what you think of the video, if you have any suggestions, etc. And uh, if you haven't already watched my last video, go and check it out. It's on some advanced things you can do inside of LumaFusion. I think you'll enjoy it.